Wow, here we are again. It's Brother P with tidbits from the Word. I would not like to have been in Job's shoes. Not at all. Job, after he went through what he went through, and then Job made a remark that God did not like. And God said, I'm going to talk to you, Job, face to face for a minute. And I'm going to ask you some questions. And this chapter 38 and there's 32 verses in the book of Job. I suggest you get it out and you read it. And you see what God has to say about this world. And that Job actually knew these things but had allowed the devil you know, right at the end to somewhat question God. And the Bible said, though, he went through this and didn't sin. But listen to these. Then the Lord answered Job. Out of a whirlwind. And said, who is this who darkens counsel? My words without knowledge. Now prepare yourself like a man. I will question you. And you shall answer me. This is God talking to Job. Where were you when I laid the foundation of the earth? Tell me, if you have understanding. Who determined its measurement? Surely you know. Or who stretched the line upon it? Verse 6. To what were its foundations fastened? Or who laid the cornerstone? When the morning stars sang together and all the sons of God shouted for joy. By the way, that is a astounding statement right there because he's talking about the angels of God, talking about the two separate groups of people there. Or who shouted in the sea with the doors when it burst forth and issued from the womb. When I made the clouds its garment and thick darkness, it's uh, a swaddling band. When I fix my limits for it, it and set bars and doors, when I said, this fire you may come, but no further. And here, your proud waves must stop. I studied that in depth one time. And, I, <coughs> and you know what? If God hadn't set the boundary... The sea would have took the world over again. At one time, the waters were above the world and around the world. And God separated the waters from above to the waters beneath. This world was wrapped up one time in a complete water all the way around. All the oceans, all the rivers, all the waters on this earth at one time was around the earth. And God changed that. And by the way, I do believe that except for the river of life in heaven, that there'll be no more sea, the Bible said. There'll be no more waters like there were, like there is now. Have you commanded the morning since your days began and caused the dew to know its place? Man, God's really asking him some questions here. That if it might take hold of the ends of the earth, and the wicked be shaken out of it. Verse 14. It takes on from like clay under a seal. And stands out like a garment. From the wicked their light is withheld. And the uprising arm is broken. Verse 16. Have you entered the springs? Have you entered the springs of the sea? Or have you walked in search of the depths? This, this answers. By the way, this answers to these questions. And, and God's telling Job that he's responsible for the springs in the sea. He's responsible for everything. And he's saying, hey, when I made all these intricate things that you don't even think about, where were you? What were you doing? Have the gates of death been revealed to you? 
Or have you seen the doors of the shadow of death? Wow. I mean, if you study these verses, and you be studying something, and, and have you comprehended the breadth of the earth? Tell me if you know all of this. I, that, the, the, a little while ago I did an excerpt uh, promoting uh, Jimmy Swaggage's uh, expository Bible, study Bible. <coughs> Brother Jimmy answers you all of these questions all on, uh, underneath these verses. Good work, good work. Not just not just Brother Jimmy, but he had a group. He had a group, a big group with him that, that did all of this. And and so, uh, verse 18. Have you comprehended the breadth of the earth? Tell me, if you knew all this. <laughs> he said, you can't even comprehend the breadth of the earth, Job. I, I'm telling you now. And uh, where is the way that's a dwelling of light and darkness? Where is its place? What about that? Where the light dwells. And where is the place of the darkness? Verse 20. That you may take it to its territory. That you may know the path to its home. Do you know it? Because you were born then? Or because the number of your days is great? Have you entered the treasury of snow? Or have you seen the treasury of hail? What is God saying? He's saying, I've got a treasury of snow, and I've got a treasury of hail. And until I'm done with this earth, I'm going to use snow and hail out of my treasury. And I have a reason for that. And you may not know the reason. And I don't know if I'm going to tell you the reason either. But I got it. And so that was it. Uh-huh. Verse 23. Which I have reserved for the time of trouble. For the day of battle and war. When is that going to be? That's going to be the great battle of Armageddon. That comes out. There's going to be hailstones that are on fire. Why are they on fire? Because they're traveling from so high, so fast, that they're generating heat. And they got a trail of fire behind them. And they're a ball of ice or a block of ice. And uh, uh, for the day of battle and war. But what way is light uh, diffused? Or the east wind scattered over the earth? Who has divided a channel for the overflowing water? <coughs> or a path for the thunderbolt? Wow. Man. The air divides with a thunderbolt and a lightning strike. The air divides. God's the one that prepared it. He's asking Job. He said, Job, you see all of this stuff. You see it. But you ain't got no idea. I'm the one. I'm the one that put it there. Don't question me. Don't question me. I'm the one who put it there. I know what I'm doing. Who has divided that channel? Who caused it to rain on a land where there is no one? A wilderness in which there is no man. To satisfy the desolate waste and to cause the spring forth, the growth and the tender grass, has the rain a father? Or who has begotten the drops of dew? God is saying... I am the father of rain, and I have begotten the drops of dew. Every drop. I know it. I know every drop on every blade of grass. I am God. For uh, whose womb came the ice <coughs> and the frost of heaven? Who gives it birth? Wow. Isn't that something? I lived in Maine. Where frost was something. And ice was something. It would move houses. If you didn't put your foundation six feet deep. It would flip a house over. It would, frost would come up. Would go down in the earth and then come back up. And then uh, the frost of heaven. 
Wow. Who gives it birth? The waters hiding like stone, and the surface of the deep is frozen. Can you bind the cluster of the uh, P-L-E-I-A-D-E-S Pelides or loose the belt of Orion? Can you bring out Mazareth in its season? Or can you guide the guest bear with its cubs? The great bear with its cubs? He's saying there's some things you can't do, Job. But I do all of them. I made everything, and I control everything, and I made it all, and I can take care of it. So do not question me. The things that you've been through, you went through for me. The Lord challenged Job here in 38. He proclaimed his majesty in 37. And then he challenged Job in 38. Read it. Read each verse with think, with thought. That God has the answer to all of the questions he asked in 32 verses. He has 32 questions and he has the answer to all of them. And man does not have the answer to them. And that's it. Man does not have the answer to them. But God does. And so, and that's what he's telling Job. Man, what counsel? Do you know what? He put it in his book so you and I could glean from it. We can glean from every word in this book. We can glean from every word in this book. Every verse. You can take a verse and go forward and backwards with it and upside down and inside out and all the words in that verse. If you dissect a verse by the word and go look at the meaning of the word, come back with the meaning of the word. Let's just say the verse has six words in it. Get the meaning of each word and write it down in a row of that verse and write it down and write the meaning down in it. And you got a storybook. You got a verse that's a story. It's a storybook. The Bible is written by God. Ordained by God. There's no book like it. Anywhere. That's why it doesn't need to be changed. Because God said it the way he wanted to say it. So that it would be... A, the, 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 it re, these 32 verses right here reveal the total earth. 100% reveal the total earth from day one all the way through verse 32 to the end of the end of being, the end of time. He has the beginning of time. The Lord answered Job in the whirlwind and said, Who is who that darkeneth counsel? That's God. That's who it is. And he's the one that did it all. And, and so, if you want to know anything, you search out it from the scripture and you can find it out. Well, we're going to call that a wrap. It's just 13 minutes, but it's 13 good minutes.